ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or even extraterrestrial life tuning in from another planet, we are back. But today we're discussing the in-game events that align with real-time world phenomena. Get ready as we explore the unexpected moment, Call of Duty Warzone, where the virtual and real skies darkened in unison for the solar partial eclipse that happened on April the 8th, 2024. And remember, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to catch all the latest in Call of Duty Zombies. The Warzone Solar Eclipse. On April 8th, 2024, Warzone players witnessed the skies above Rebirth Island darken as a partial solar eclipse took place both in-game and in real life. The synchronization wasn't just a random occurrence, it was clearly planned by Activision to pique interest in Warzone even further by tying it into a real world event, and this time a solar eclipse. It was rather quite something, very unexpected at least from where I heard the news of it first happening. Not in real time, but for the next 24 hours or so, the solar eclipse would happen in game. If you were lucky enough to see the solar eclipse in person, perhaps you missed this in game event, and rightly so. But many simply didn't get the chance to see such phenomena, including myself. So the next best thing to looking at the incredible images shared online was this, I guess. And it was whilst it was nothing by any means anything to rave about, it certainly did not disappoint. It was interesting and well placed by the devs, which they didn't need to do, but did anyway. Players did start reporting about this, but it didn't affect as much as the player experience, as you might expect. Whilst you could see the event happen in game over a course of a few minutes after dropping in, not much changed, not much happened. The gameplay experience just sat there, didn't change the visibility, and whilst that might have been off-putting to some players, I think it could have driven a different dynamic in the game, and how players reacted, including myself, instead, whilst trying to just capture the in-game footage, was shot at numerous times, clearly as I was getting shot at whilst also trying to get the experience in. I was in Warzone, so it was expected, but did you get to see the event? Or did you get to see it in person? Did you see both? Let me know down in the comments below what you saw and if you saw both of them. But what does this mean in the potential future in-game events? As the event sets a fascinating precedent for the environmental changes in Call of Duty, what could future events look like? Could we see meteor showers or auras or even unexpected weather events? Could this affect gameplay strategy? and player interactions in-game, and yes, I think it's worth noting that I understand this isn't the first and by any means massive event added in Warzone over the last few years. I mean, we got this. But nothing has been done on a large scale since then. And again, Solar Eclipse was no large event, if you wanted to call it that, but it was something and deepening on a potential feedback that is something we'll likely see moving forward based on the player experience and thoughts. What sort of interesting event would you like to see appear in Call of Duty moving forward? And if you would like to go into more detail, I'd love to hear it and respond to me down below on that. Perhaps imagine a scenario where players have to adapt to a sudden weather change or a celestial phenomenon. This could introduce new challenges and strategies, keeping the gameplay interesting and exciting maybe. In-game events really add a dynamic to the static Warzone experience we all know and love, but Warzone is a mode that changes quite a lot in the Call of Duty cycle, and has now become a staple into the main game's development. But does it have to stop in Warzone? Of course it doesn't. So what about zombies? Now turning our attention to the zombies mode. This mode has always been about survival in dynamic environments. But what if these environments react not just to in-game triggers, but actual in-game events too? What could this mean? And how could this be done? Or even would this be attractive or exciting enough? Could it be addition that the players would be interested to see? Would you be interested to see such things? For instance, a lunar eclipse could change the zombie's behaviour, making them more aggressive or perhaps unveiling new zombie types or bosses that only appear during specific rounds or in-game time. Perhaps storms could brew 
and affect areas of the map or even something as simple as an eye candy event in the sky that lights up and an aurora. Any zombies fans out there would like to see anything in particular like that? Um, do you have anything in mind already or is it something that you just wouldn't necessarily care about? It would seem it does attract community engagement. For one, I would have never stopped to go on Warzone in Rebirth Island if I didn't know about the eclipse was happening in game. Whilst to my disappointment it was nothing spectacular, it was definitely interesting to see. And the community's response to the Warzone solo eclipse seemed sort of positive too. But this feedback, will it be fed enough through to lead to more events in the future? Big or small? Same manner. Engaging with the community in this way shows how much we might value more dynamic elements in the Call of Duty um, series. But adding the experience more is something I'd like to see implemented in the future. But devs would really need to think outside the box here. And we'll see about that, I guess. So, sure, what dynamic events do you like to see? Have you been interested in the dynamic events and events that are already happening in game and wars and would you like to see them come to Call of Duty Zombies? Do you care absolutely at all? Well, let me know. And as we wrap up, it's clear that the blending in game environments with the events could just be the beginning. It's not the first and definitely not the last. But what are your thoughts on this integration? What event would you like to see come to Warzone next? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and tap the bell for more content in Call of Duty Zombies, including more to be seen in the upcoming Call of Duty Gold War led by Treyarch. Now I have been Cryptic. Thank you so much for joining me. And until the next time, stay safe, stay frosty and goodbye for now.